Here I will introduce concavity and convexity to make to be able to state something about the curvature of the graph of functions. Well, suppose we look at the graph of a function in blue, like so. So and consider a point a f a on the graph. If this function, well, it looks reasonably well differentiable, and look at a tangent line in AFA, then we see that the tangent line is below the graph of the function. Yeah, and basically this holds for any point on the graph. If we look at the tangent line, then the tangent line is below the graph. So the graph of F lies above any tangent line. And in this case, if that is the case, we will call f convex. Well, the tangent line is a graph of a linear function. And uh, this linear function is a linear approximation. So f is defined convex if it holds for any a that fx is larger than the value of this linear approximation which is fa plus f prime a times x minus a. Well, concavity works the other way around so here look at the graph in blue and again look at a point on the graph afa. If we look at the tangent line in this case then we may conclude that the tangent line is above the graph of the function. And uh, we also may see or may conclude that when we consider other points that it still holds that the tangent line is above the graph or the graph of F lies under the tangent lines. And if this is so on an interval I then we will call f concave on the interval i. Yeah, so f is concave if the function value fx is smaller than its linear approximation. So fx is smaller or equal than fa plus f prime a times x minus a.